Jesus in the middle. Had a friend almighty God and let my dog out to kill him. When you get it straight up by the mud, you can't imagine this shit. I've been pulling up in the drop tops with the baddest bitches. Young nigga been focused on my check. Got a new rope around my neck. Trying to put the water on my check. Come on, bro. Listen. Y'all can't keep y'all can't keep coming in here and surprising me. I ain't even have my hat on. Y'all know I got to put my hat on. My hair look crazy in the month. You know, y'all ain't know my shit was this long, did you? Ooh, draped on them. Don't worry about that. I got something coming for that. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. What's happening though, man? Let me turn this shit around. You know I'm weird like that. You know I'm weird like that. What's up, man? I'm sweating because it's hot outside already, man. Here down in uh, down here in Texas, we got pollen already. It's February. I've never seen pollen in February. That's crazy to me, man. That's crazy. It's either raining, he's got allergies and stuff. It's horrible, man. It's terrible. But we here. Uh, it was cold this morning and it warm up, so it'll be like 45, 50, flat in the morning time. And if I time like noon hit to three. Cool 65, 70, you know. So you just got to do whatever when you're down here. I'm not going to hold you long, though, because it's hot sitting in this here. Let me hit a little, get a little air going in here, just a little bit. Uh, am I glowing? Look like I'm glowing. Let me go ahead and cut that off. So I ain't do a video last week or so. I didn't really do nothing that I normally do last week. I didn't go to the gym all week. Just trying to get my life together. You know, sometimes you got to pull away, take a break, figure it out. I changed my schedule. And so I was trying to readjust that and had to handle some business, had to have some issues with the bank, all of that. So, you know, little stuff like that kind of knock you off. And by the time Wednesday get here, if I ain't lifted, I'm like, forget it. You know, the week's shot. You can't miss chest and back day. That's crazy. But now, nah, um, I just wanted to drop in real quick. Make sure y'all still doing good. You know, it's still, we still in the beginning of 2019. It's still the first quarter. Don't worry about it. You know, if you ain't figured it out yet, you still got a little time left. But don't be bullshit, though, because you don't have that much time left. It'll be 2020 in a heartbeat. Uh, I, I did something um, that I've been trying to do for, basically for the better part of the month, for real. No lie. I, so it felt good to do that. So, you know, when you write your goals down or, or if the, if you're one of them people and you finally get them accomplished you could put a check mark next to it that's a good thing you know so do that for yourself set you a goal you know knock it out don't just be floating around here chilling and shit you know bullshit letting life pass you by and you just you know don't be one of them wanting motherfuckers i just i want this i want that and don't want to do nothing for it man you know i got big dreams i'm out here i'm grinding like i'm really trying to get to it you know, not counting me going to work every day. That's just a responsibility. That's not getting to the bag. Uh, I was going to share everything with y'all, you know, the process of what I'm building. But uh, a good uh, my bro, you know what I'm saying, my nigga, my barber, my guy, Dame, Cut Hair LaFleur on Facebook. Uh, he's in Kansas City. Dopest barber there if you need to do it, if you need to go see him. You know, if you're losing a little bit, don't worry about it. He can take care of that, uh, whatever. But he posted something a long time ago when he was like, I dare you to, it basically was like, I dare you to just do what you've been talking about doing. Don't share with people. Don't tell people, you know what I'm saying, what's going on and all of that. Because we do get too, we, we too quick to say, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This one I'm working on. I want to show people. I want to hit y'all with the finished product. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I just want to come to you like, yo, I got this going on. I might not even let you know that it's mine that I got going on. I might pull it. I might pump it like it's somebody else's. Just, you know, you know, I'm secretive like that. I want to be a sneaky millionaire. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be a sneaky millionaire. Like, I'll still be doing little stuff like this. You won't even know. You'll just think that Hellcat least. Because I, I want to get one next year. If you see me in a Hellcat next year or a Scat Pack, it is definitely least. Because I'm probably going to get tired of it real fast. But that's my next goal. You know, get in position to do that. They talking about dropping for 426, and I want to see it. But nah, man, um... I, I did that, you know, and I, 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 got, I, got, I got to the business and got to what I was doing. Just left the gym, did chest and triceps, and then I uh, did some cardio. I got on the Stairmaster or whatever. That Stairmaster kicked my ass. It should not, I should not, I should have, I should have not been that winded getting off the, the Stairmaster. You know, I couldn't even say that shit. It was so tired. But um, something that I, I wanted to say the other day, man, get off Instagram. If you look at your explore page and it's full of shit you can't have, like for me, it's uh, muscles, 
you know, like real, you know, big bodybuilder niggas. Um, cars, motorcycles. It's a couple of, it's a couple of, you know what I'm saying, IG models on there. I'm not gonna hold you. But all of that shit is fake. All that shit fake though, man. You don't know how somebody got that. Most of these chicks is buying their body and they getting a lot of likes, but they ain't got nothing going on. Some of them do. Some of them do. Some of them really out here, you know, boss type chicks, and that's cool, but you're not running into them chicks at Walmart. And if you do, she ain't gonna know how to talk to you anyway. She ain't gonna appreciate the 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 potential because whatever she got, she got because of how she looked. So somebody like that might not understand somebody that's grinding and actually trying to get to it. You know, and that's not their fault. It just it is what it is. But them chicks not realistic, bro. Them chicks is not realistic. They it's it's Instagram. Instagram is a life of posters. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you the best, the highlight reel. But it's just posters, man. And you get and I I mean I think we all get caught on it. Especially like if you not if you don't got a lot of money, you looking at everybody that got a lot of money on Instagram. That's where that goes. Man, you can't fall for that, man. You just gotta keep going. Keep grinding. And I promise you, if I figure it out, my goal is to be a millionaire by 40. I shared that part with you. I'm nowhere near that at the age of 30. 31 might be a whole different year. 32 might be a whole nother year. It's people my age with it, you know, whether they entertainers or celebrities or whatever. So it ain't impossible. It's just real difficult. And sometimes we get, when things are so difficult that it's hard to, to imagine, we make it we make it a myth. You know, we, we, we make it mythology. Myth, Mythological, ooh, fixed it. Niggas start thinking, oh, they sold they soul, or they, uh, uh, <laughs> they, they had, they, they cheated their way up, and some people do, some people did. I mean, I don't know about the selling your soul part. I don't know if you could really sell your soul. Nobody's ever come to me and said, if you give me your soul, I'll give you the world. I don't know how feasible that is. I don't know how you can trust that they're gonna give you the world. Um. Also, I mean, is that really a bad thing? You don't really know what's on the other side. So, I mean, what is it? You know, if that person can buy my soul, I need to know what else they know. Forget giving me the, if you offering me the world for my soul, that means my soul is more important than anything you can give me in this world. Because usually when somebody's trying to give you something for something you have, what you have is more valuable to them. For instance, you're selling a vehicle. At that moment, the money, for however much that amount of money is, is worth more to the person it is worth more to you than what you're selling you know so they got the money but they want what you want so it's you know what i'm saying it's swap it don't make one more important than the other one it just means that it's more important to that person so you know somebody asks for your ask you for your soul you, you might might be a little more worthy than you thought ain't nobody asking for mine though i'm convinced i did something terribly wrong in my past life because i'm not a terrible person i'm not a good person either but I'm better than I'm not, and none of my life look like it's supposed to look. Not that, not how I want it. I don't like nothing. I ain't made none of the right decisions. So I must have been like, uh, one of my friends said I was Hitler in my past life. I don't know why I gotta be that. That's terrible, but I had to do something wrong. But hey, man, I'm here, man. You know, I woke up this morning, a little rested. Came to the gym, I'm about to run and get me some coffee. I'm gonna run to Macy's real quick. My shoes, my work shoes been hurting my feet. I'm, you know, old nigga shit. I would like to go get some Air Maxes or something, you know. But, uh, about to go get some loafers. Um, uh, hopefully I got some pants on sale. So I need some more pants, too. But, that's that, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a new week coming up, man. Just make it the best you can. Do what you can do. You know? Uh, because that's how I try, I try to do that every week. I don't be saying just saying that to you. I really try to make everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? So, back in the gym. Back to it a week off. I don't feel like I, uh, completely walked away from my life so you know it's all good yes i need a haircut i know i do overtime on saturdays uh so i don't typically have time to go get a haircut and hit the gym every day and you know try to be a father and all of that so don't judge me i'm i know how i look shit you know I might give me a flannel and go play lumberjack for a little bit you know, I know somebody might like a little lumberjack here and there you know what i'm talking about i'm gonna give me some coffee real quick i have to have coffee every day i don't care what time it is yes i know it's almost one o'clock and yes i'm getting ready to get this coffee yeah I my, i'm at the coffee shop i don't do starbucks and like regular coffee my dad's like coffee stuff like that starbucks I, I don't like starbucks a lot of people go and get like frappuccinos and uh the lattes ain't bad but it's just sugar so anything sweet tastes good plus 
they stopped making half the drinks that they was making. So like now if you go there only got like three or four different lattes and then like you can ask for some of the old like, uh, nah I'm cool. I hate Starbucks coffee though. And so this is a little coffee shop around the corner from the spot uh, that I like to come to. Hold on. Can you see that? Yeah. It's a little chill spot. It's kind of noisy in here right now, so I like to come in here and try to read and stuff like that. I ain't one of the people that can read with a bunch of shit going on in the background, people running around talking, music loud. I don't do well with that. I gotta have quiet, but not too quiet because then I fall asleep because I'm lazy. I don't know. So I'm about to get this coffee and then uh, run to the mall real quick. When I go to the mall, I go straight for what I'm looking for, and then I say I'm not doing no shopping. I don't have any money like that. I do need some pants though. But pants require me to try them on because I'm built like I'm built. I don't have time for that. I have meal prep, so I'm not gonna do that. Mark my word, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show y'all. But uh, I'm gonna get this coffee, and I'm gonna holla at y'all. I wish I could zoom in. Even dirty my truck sexy. I ain't even did nothing to it yet. But one of these days, one of these days, I promise I ain't gonna let y'all down. Just keep fucking with me. Hey, I got upstairs, lost my mind already. First of all, they had some green leaf vibes. Should've showed y'all. Super lit, like a hunter forest green lit, okay? Then this right here, we talking about 40% off. I'm doing the calculation. It's only one, two, it's a large. What y'all think, man? I could fuck with that. Man, let me go get these damn shoes. My section, where I lose it. You see that? 40% off. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is my favorite brand. I can fit they slim fit. That's my slim fit. Ah, oh, they got the fucking bananas on there. It's fucking bananas. Oh, shit. Shoes. Shoes. I'm, I'm over here. I'm over here. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what we're working on. Word to anybody that lifts weights. Don't take you a change of shirts. Because... I'm sweaty as hell. How you doing? Um, yes. So, I want to try a couple of different shoes for yeah. comfort. So, I don't want you to think I'm just making you bring me all kind of stuff. Okay. So, those are the same. Let me try a nine. Um, let me try a nine in that one. Okay. I'm going to do brown and black. But let me try a nine in that one. And... A nine and a half in that one. That one. These Calvin Klein's is lit tea. Golly. Ooh. Ooh. I might have to get them. No, man. Like, look. <laughs> I don't want to fuck them. I don't know what the fuck they laughing at. So look, this is the trick though. Get the shoes, try them on. Cause I'm really, I'm really one of the people that wear nine and a nine and a half. I don't know which ones. It just really depends on the shoe and who make it. But the trick is, look online before you purchase. Sometimes the shit is on sale online a little more than it is here. These are actually the same price online. I looked before I came. Them Calvin Klein's though. Them Calvin Klein's are lit. I might have to, I might have to rock with them. I'm gonna try these shoes on. I'm gonna try these shoes on and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it y'all man. I'm addicted to these shoes. I don't know if it's because I'm flat footed, if I'm if I got because I got wide feet. But the drivers, though, some people call them loafers, those are called drivers most of the time. I don't know what makes them a driver or a loafer, but usually they call them drivers. Those are uh I just like how they look. How they're comfortable. Them Calvin Klein's gotta go. I gotta get them. So I'm gonna try these on and get back at you. Another thing, and I just, I'm just dropping all kind of jewels for y'all. So, obviously, I have on Jordans. I have on these thick ass Jordan socks, right? Don't try these shoes on with them thick ass socks. You're not wearing no thick socks with these. You ain't supposed to. And you might wear them barefoot. So, wear the little stupid thing they bring you. And you cool. See, these are a little loose for me. These are a little loose. I might have to. I might have to get a nine. Yeah, I had both the nine and the nine and a half. And the Calvin Klein? Yeah. Okay. Calvin. Trying these, these nine and a half are a little too big. A little too big. Yeah. You want to try nine and a half? I'm a nine today. Okay. Let's see. Give me something with the, with the ankles out. Oh, jeez, bro. 
I can't afford the fair gummos right now, but these I can. I showed him how much it was online and he matched it. He actually, instead, it was like 20% off online and they were $10 cheaper. He made it 25% off of here in the store. So it came out to be like $2 different and I didn't have to wait for him to order it. So it worked out. Just wanted to show you. Now, I'm looking at drawers. I like, um, I like underwear. I like nice underwear. Contour pouch. That's a good one. I like these nylons uh, because I work out and I actually have legs. When you, ooh, socks on on point. When you have uh, big legs, they they give, but they don't uh, slide up or down. You don't just walk around with a wedgie all day. Like Hanes and shit get terrible. They get all bacon necky in the bottom part. Like it's terrible. I need to write down what color socks I need so that I know what color socks to get when I come in here. This is starting to be my new favorite brand. Two for 16 bucks. Oh man. Look at this. That's lit. I like that on the side. I don't know why, but I like that on the side. I like that on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'm not going to go buy that shirt. I'm going to be frugal. I needed shoes for work. I do a lot of walking at work. My feet were starting to hurt. Uh, I had some little Steve Madden's. I paid 50 bucks for them. I got a brown pair and a black pair. I wear the brown pair a lot. Don't wear the black pair that much. So, I only got brown today. I'll try to get black next time or something like that. But I got bills and shit. You know, rent due and all that. Ain't gonna be crazy with it. But, uh, now, now to meal prep. Excuse me. Out. I ain't mean to look, that was disrespectful. I'm out of here, man. I'll let y'all spider web over your head. What? See the spider web? Yeah, see. Uh, Almost got you. Sorry, that was the spider web. <laughs> so, I'm starving. Sent them on a meal quest. I have to go to the office to use the printer and fax machine, and I left the damn paper. So, Oh, hey, YouTube. <laughs> she she want to be on the YouTube so bad. <laughs> I transfer money from my checking account here to my savings account with the credit union. And then they pay the, I transfer the money and pay the bill. Well, these dinosaurs take it, they take the money out of my account and they mail a check to the institution, which it, it, it ends up in my account. Except for this one time. It didn't end up in my account. So I'm like, they don't know I'm gonna take this long. So I call, check was cashed. It was intercepted somewhere between the bank sending it and the credit union getting it. They didn't ever get it. And so I filed a claim. They understand what happened. I was going on. They know what happened. I just lost it in the mail. Somebody cashed it, blah, blah, blah. I got jumped through hoops for whatever reason for them to put my money back. So, I had to take it out of my savings to uh, pay the bill because this nigga still had to pay the bill and then they're going to give me the money back later. But that should take forever. So, they irritate me. So, I uh, have not started meal prepping yet, but I will in a second. I'll show y'all what I got going on. Well, Be back. Yeah, I got the crib, got everything situated. So, part of meal prepping is getting your plan together. So, I got a tenderloin. I made that while I was eating, so I got that out the way. I just got to cut it up. Chicken. No, chicken, salmon. I'm going to cook both of these at the same time. Oven. Uh, I got a smokeless grill. Pow. Got my coffee. I'm about to make that. Uh, I also have cabbage. And sausage. I think I'm going to need one more of these. Whatever, we're making a halfway vegan meal. No meat, no meat. And then I got stuff for my green smoothie. Uh, got some egg whites. Um, my breakfast meat right there. I took some ground turkey, put a few seasons in it, made it taste like Jimmy Dean, baby. You ain't ready for it. So I'm about to get out of that situated and then I'm gonna show you how the finished product. I'd be back. 
Don't mind my hair. I forgot to put my hat on. What's happening, man? So check it. Uh, meal prepping is done. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. It took about two and a half, three hours. So people that say, oh, I ain't got time to do this, that, and the third. You can prep for about three or four days in about two hours. I did dinner and lunch. Check me out. These are sweet potatoes. Uh, diced. I didn't go a whole... I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff. It's just uh, uh, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, a little um, extra virgin olive oil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, chicken breast. So this is lunch. Cabinet sausage. This is dinner. Breakfast. Uh, egg whites, these are egg beaters, but they got the same nutrition factors as egg whites. They're just yellow. Egg whites get on my damn nerves. Um, this is Southwest version. Ground turkey, uh, made in breakfast sausage. Salmon, that's dinner too. Broccoli, that's lunch as well. And then, I'm gonna be making my smoothie so you got the egg. I mean, the bananas. I don't know why I said egg. Bananas, uh, make a green smoothie so you got the kale. Um, Broccoli, spinach, strawberries are a good snack. Non fat Greek yogurt. I should have some frozen fruit in here. These are good carbs. Fruit is good for you. I need some more fruit though. That should have been in there for a minute. And then my other carb is. Oh, this is also for breakfast. These are pretty good. Fuck with them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then, you know, through the week when I'm a little busy, I go grab a rotisserie chicken coupled with uh, this uh, Uncle Ben's rice. Not always Spanish. I get different flavors. But, yeah, man. That's how I do it because I can't cook like this through the week. So, I try to get a few days ahead. And then, like, I'll probably, I'll probably run to the store Tuesday night or Wednesday. Sometimes on Tuesday, I'll go get tacos anyway. So, that's cool. You know, I get steak. Um, a few carbs, you know, whatever. So it ain't, it don't be that bad. I don't get nothing crazy. And then, uh, I'll grab like some steaks and some shrimp or something. Something I could throw in a little smoke little grill in here. Uh, when I was living in the house, I had a grill grill. Then none of this was a problem. I throw some meat on the grill in a heartbeat. So, meal prepping done. Uh, I've been running my mouth, so it's obviously kind of late now. So I can't talk about Bow. Uh, Take care of that. As you can see, it really ain't that many dishes. I did all of that on the dishes that you see right now. And that's that, man. So it can be done. It's not easy. Uh, it takes time to kind of get a system going. I really had to, like, figure out what I was going to cook first. You know what I'm saying? Because I was using the same pot for different meals and stuff like that. So, man, it can do it. You can do it, man. You see me? You can do it. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, clean up and I'm gonna edit you gonna fix me a drink edit these goddamn video and upload it y'all gonna see this thing on Monday man so it's Sunday right now uh, everything you seen today was Sunday y'all gonna see this Monday I'm telling you that right now uh so let me know if you wanna see some more of that if you wanna see some more cooking and stuff like that I'll be a hundred percent honest with you man this was supposed to be a car video a car channel but life didn't work out for your boy but if y'all fuck with me long enough man I promise you I'm gonna bring y'all something cause I just got to get a car. I got to, man. I don't know how to make it work. Uh, I would like to buy a house first. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to give me a vehicle. Uh, it's either going to be a scat pack. I might squeeze a Hellcat in there. That would be crazy. Y'all see me with a Hellcat. Call somebody because I done lost my whole mind. But it will either be a scat pack. That Camaro Z01 so sexy. You know, I might fool one of them. Big baby still outside, ain't going nowhere. Uh, and so that's gonna be that man. So just fuck with me, man. Like I said, it's supposed to be a car channel. I love cars. I watch uh, all my other car channels. You know what I'm saying? You got Tall Guy Car Review, Motor Two, Mr. Organic was doing a little car stuff. He don't really do that much stuff no more. Uh, SRT Mush. All them, man. I watch all them dudes. Um, but right now, y'all just getting me, man. You know, if you don't like it, you know. Ah, damn. I just realized I forgot to put a hat on. You know what I'm saying? Nigga hair crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen me. You need to see y'all. I welcome y'all into my home. And you gonna talk about my motherfucking hair, nigga? 
I let y'all in and you gonna talk about my shit, man. Get your shit together, man. Get your shit together. Nah, but for real, I'm about to get this shit cleaned up and get the fuck up out of here, man. I'm tired, okay? Y'all kick rocks. I got work tomorrow.